Now, first, let's cover the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is this. All women either want to be the victim or the victor. She's either going to be mistreated or she is going to be the winner in the scenario. This is my apartment after I came back home from Vegas. I had a convention in Vegas. Um, I was gone the second through the seventh, came home to my apartment, completely wiped out. My husband left, he left me my jewelry here in this room here. Um, yeah, and took everything else, including some items that belong to Solely me. He also took the washer and dryer out of here. I also took the bed, took everything out of here, cut off the internet service so I can no longer work from home. And then cleared out the closet here, which I'll come to light. Cleared the closet here and then for the wedding dress in here. I'll leave that right there for him. Not some women, not most women, all women are either going to play the victim or the victor. You just got to accept that as a man. So I want y'all to keep in mind that that's not a negative thing. It's not a negative thing. It's not a positive thing. It's a true thing. She wants to be the victim or the victor. And not only does she want to be the victim or the victor, she's going to be the victim or the victor. Now, remember that because that's going to play into every single thing on this list. Here's the problem with the majority of modern women. She wants to be the man. She wants to be the man. Now, let me clarify that. It's not that she wants to be a man, but she's so damn selfish that she only views a relationship from her own perspective, from her own needs analysis. So even when she's thinking about the things she's going to give you, she's only going to give you what she needs in a relationship. She's never going to give you the things that you need. Why? No one ever taught her that. No one ever taught her that because they didn't know it. She don't know it. Her mama don't know it. Her grandma didn't know it. The great grandma didn't know it. The great 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 grandma didn't know it. The grandma who was white married to a black man. The grandma who was black married to a white man still don't know it. They just don't know it. So everything the modern woman thinks she knows about relationships is based on what she wants. Right. Have you never been in a relationship where you have been made to feel this small all the time? Where you needed you need to change things about yourself you know more times than not when they're not satisfied with who you are more times than not if you've never been in a relationship like that then you couldn't possibly understand um the places i speak from but all i ever wanted was for my husband to love me for me she can't even tell you what a man wants and when she hears what a man wants, she just can't believe that that's what it is because she convinced that men and women want the same thing. But here's the problem. If we want the same thing, why do we want submission? And why do you want aggression? Why does it turn you on so much for a man to be aggressive with you during intimacy? Why does it turn you on so much for a man to be dominant? Why does that arouse you so much? It don't arouse us. Women don't understand what men want and they don't care what you want. So you can't even enter a situation with a woman concerned about getting what you want. You just got to see what the woman offers, see how much value it has to you and compartmentalize her into a box that she fits into. The problem is you're probably not going to find a woman who fits into that role, the wifey role, the ultimate position in your life. Another thing is this. Most of them have emotional scars from past relationships it may not even be intimate relationships it may be a bad relationship with their dad maybe a bad relationship with their granddad could be a bad relationship with an uncle could be something that happened to them that should have never happened to them god forbid that's the case but we do know that happens it could also be a terrible tug of war with her mother or an older sister or younger sister or grandmother but there's some scar that she has 
They don't accept that they have these scars. We accept emotional scars as normal in this society. Why? Because we all have crazy. Only difference between us and the people in the in the mental facilities is that we can still control our crazy. Stop controlling your crazy one day and watch the hell you in, in, in a rubber room with a straitjacket on. So another thing is this, and this is one of the most important things. The modern woman's need for validation trumps every reasonable idea she could ever have. Even when she has a great idea about doing something positive, the need for validation overtakes that. She'll do anything to her body that society says makes her beautiful. She'll do anything to her face. Look at little Kim's face. Let's be, if I put a side to side up of little Kim, you can say what you want to say about Kim when she was young. Kim was bad when she was young. She was sweet, petite, and just enough freak. Now, what is that thing that shows up and says I'm Lil' Kim? I don't know. I've only seen one other human look like that, and you know that. She was the white woman with the cat face. But why does she do it? There's this idea of beauty that they don't even rely on men to give them anymore. You know, they're quick to say, why does a black man always complain about women wearing their natural hair and the only women they approach are the women who don't wear natural hair? Man, let me ask you something. If you see a thousand women, how many of them women going to have natural hair? 20. And 15 of those are going to be, shall we say, rather portly. So we're talking about five out of a thousand women are going to have natural hair. But we like natural hair. But they don't care what we like. The crazy thing about the modern woman is that her idea of beauty is given to her by other women. So all they do is compete for this false idea of beauty. And yes, if you take that false idea of beauty and put a thong on and show your butt on IG, there's a bunch of guys that don't mind seeing a butt on IG in a thong. But in reality, those women, just like these women, just like those women, just like most women, are single and ready to mingle way longer than they really want to be. And it's a travesty. Because there are many eligible bachelors out here who are looking for a woman who fits into our life. But you know what we find? We find women who are ill-equipped to do that. We got to carry the load of the relationship. Then we got to show the woman how to be in a relationship. And then we got to mold her in the type of woman who needs to be in a relationship. And then we got to convince her that she needs to continue to be that type of woman who's in a relationship. All the while, we carrying the whole load. What are we getting out of it? Some disengaged intimacy? It's the intimacy from a woman who's so spoiled that she don't feel like she even need to put for no type of effort? And they always have an excuse for every damn thing. Anything she doesn't do, there's an excuse for it. Anything she does do, there's a justification for it. Again, victim, victor, complex. So he holds on to things, but I'm more likely to let those things go. So I really feel like that's the reason why this hurts. Um, it hurts the most. There's a bit of relief for me, to be honest. Women only care about three. They only care about three V's. Being a victim, the victim, and getting some shit from Victoria's Secret. That's all they care about. I don't care about nothing else. As long as she can look sexy, whether for you, herself, her friends, IG, uh, OnlyFans, whatever she can look sexy for, she want to look sexy, so she loves Victoria's Secret, she loves to be the victim, she loves to be the victim. And then we get into our next one, the fourth V. She likes to pedal her Venus flytrap. 